somehow or other, Telly was fond of the idea of dressing because he was an impeccable dresser in life. <clears throat> but dressing absolutely natally and, and, uh, and in total style, not looking like any other detective you've ever seen on the screen. And because of his bald head, he was able to get away with being, and possibly because that was his compensation, is he, you know, he, he's rather stockily built and bald and, and uh, uh, I guess he figured he wasn't your average good-looking leading man, so made up for it in terms of his sartorial uh, look. And, uh, and he made it, he pulled it off because he has that wonderful, virile, uh, straight quality. And uh, then one time he just used the lollipop is in one scene that kind of stuck later in the series. They made a big, big prop out of it, but that was not what the movie was about. And can you talk a little bit about your collaboration with Abby Mann uh, during the whole process of making the movie? Yeah, that, uh, that turned out to be much more successful than, than I would have imagined because uh, Abby's a very, very strong-willed person. Uh, to put it mildly. And he's also a hell of a writer. He's a very talented, uh, very perceptive writer and was responsible for quite a few important films and live TV <clears throat> at the time. And uh, during the heyday of what we now refer to as, as the days of, the golden days of TV, uh, he was one of the coterie of guys that were turning out some very important and very uh, cinematically wonderful pictures. Uh, because they were tackling social issues that nobody else was doing. And to this day, I think Abby is far more interested in uh, bringing consciousness to whatever social uh, condition we generally have to look at these days. And, uh, and that was the, and we, we kind of hit it off rather uh, nicely. As I say, surprisingly, because I was expecting it to go a lot rougher, but especially when I said he couldn't attend rehearsal. And he looked at me like, like I was betraying him. And I said, to explain to him logically why I never allow people, you know, producers or writers to attend rehearsal because they should have the right and the, and, the, and the luxury of being able to fall on their face and in, in, in the exploratory stage rather than feel that they have to perform for an audience. And if a producer or a writer or any number of people are sitting out there watching it constitutes an audience. One person sometimes can constitute an audience, which immediately tends to freeze an actor from taking chances. And taking chances is what good, good acting, good directing, good writing is all about. The freedom to, to experiment, freedom to fall on your ass if necessary. <laughs> 